Hi guys, it's Angel Bee here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at some Minecraft mods that I thought were useful. They enhance the vanilla gameplay and they are just pretty cute and really good for decoration. Before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know I have made a new Twitter, so be sure to follow that. It is in the description. Please subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. And I also have Twitch, link in the description. And let's get right into this video. First, we have the Minecraft mod, Odd Water Mobs. And this adds these really cool, unique creatures to the game. It spawns only when it's raining and it can sell for a lot of emeralds. This creature, which is a horseshoe crab and it spawns near beaches, it drops thorax. And here is an anglerfish. And it also adds a new biome and this new plant. And also these giant spider crabs, which are very unsettling to me. <laughs> you can breed them with meat. This is some of the drops here. As you can see, you can use them to create two potions and two poisoned arrows. And you can also eat them as they are a food. There's crab eggs, which spawns baby crabs. Up next, we have the Minecraft mod Enhanced Vanilla. And now this is all the blocks the game adds, as well as like stairs and slabs of all these variants, but it also adds some new food, some pies, some new flowers, which are really pretty, new types of mushrooms, some wild carrots. And it basically just adds a whole new bunch of building materials such as this wood in the top, which has different patterns. It adds glowstone ore. It also adds this rocky dirt, which you can get rocks from, in which you can throw, as well as this new lavender fields biome. Up next, we have the Minecraft mod, custom walls and fences. And it adds all these different types of fences in all of the wood colors you can get. And you can mix and match the different colorways, as you can see here. It also adds gates in all of the different types. Here is showing you all of the different fences and all of the different types of gates. It also adds walls, vertical slabs and castle walls, such as this one on the very end. It has this one, this one, which is like a vertical slab and this one, which is perfect for the top of a castle. And these also come in different materials. Next up, we have extra details. Now this adds all these different types of blocks here. You can't find them in the world. You'll have to craft them. You can use a stone cutter to get some of these. And it just adds blocks with more details, which could up your building, especially the new types of cobble variants here to the left. They look so cool. Even the mossy one with the little heads inside. It adds different types of obsidian. Some of them have an animated texture, endstone, prismarine. Next up, we have a wood cutter mod. You can add a wood type in a sawmill and you can get all the different wood variants on what it can create. It's a very simple mod and I think it is just perfect. This next Minecraft mod is called Conjurer's Cookbook. And it adds this new crop to the game called Mandrake Root and you plant it and you'll get Mandrake. You can use the Mandrake for recipes such as bottled Mandrake and some soups. And you can use this bottled mandrake to create blocks which might be hard to get in the game or to duplicate your items. As you can see these recipes here, you can even make slime with an egg and dye. Here you can double a bottle of enchanting by using gold, etc. Each different type of food has different effects in this, such as the cookie tin, it'll give you a random positive effect. Here are the all here. The chocolate cake will give you a full hunger bar, but gives you slowness and weakness. So they all have pretty downfall effects, but it's a really cool magical mod if you just want a few extra items in the game. Up next is the mod Creatures and Beasts. Um, I have talked about this mod quite often because of the updates it has and it adds a new creature. So I am overviewing this mod again. Here are some sparlings. These can spawn in the nether and the overworld and they'll do their best to remove curses from your gear. It also adds cinder shells, which are the little lava tortoise, tortoise looking creatures, which are used as furnace fuel. If we go back into the overworld, here are some regular spawlings. But the new update adds these yetis, and these are so cute. They remain neutral until the player gets too close to the babies. You can give them Malin to trust and look at the animation. It is adorable. You can breed them with berries and you can use their hide to reinforce armor in an anvil. 
But also the adds this cute little creature called a lily tad. It disguises itself as a lily pad and it's a little creature that lives in the swamp. You can use shears and you can collect the little flower which you can actually eat. They're just a cute little swampy creature. This makes me actually want to go to the swamps in Minecraft because I hated the swamps. And they act like lily pads by jumping on them. If you head over to a jungle, you can find these little lizards, which you can give them apple slices and you can breed them. You can capture them with a net as demonstrated here and you'll have it in your inventory. Then you can place it back down and you'll have a little pet. Final creature is this little grebe, a cute little duck-like bird that lives in rivers and lakes and likes to eat fish. They're really, really cute. The little babies will hop on their mom's backs like this and it's just so cute. You need to have this mod installed. Next, we have the Selectables Paintings mod. If you right click this Selectable Painting, you can select from the list on the left all the different types of paintings you would like. If you shift and right click, you can change the size of the painting. You craft it by just placing a painting in a crafting recipe. The next Minecraft mod is Natural Decor and it adds all these different flowers here, all these different blocks. As you can see the pavement I am on, there are all different types of blocks from the mod. These plant pots to the right of me, this little flamingo, this rock pile you can get, this hanging basket which you can put flowers in. Just It's just really cute, especially the different types of pavements and things you can get. Here you can see to the side all of the plants and bushes, all of the decor. And you can even get these particle blocks, which create particles, and all of the different planters and rocks. It also adds some fish, such as these beautiful koi fish, as well as this little random dog, which you can give a biscuit and it'll give you items in return. A batani biscuit. To craft it, it's just wheat and a bone. Give it exchange and you'll get an item. Up next, we have the Minecraft mod, Skinned Cats. As you can see here, all the different cats you can get, they just replace the minecart in the game. There is different creatures and they have a simple recipe of just wool around a minecart. As you can see here, there is a ladybird, a pelican, a bee, a panda, and there is so many others. They just work like regular minecarts, except they look adorable. And I don't see why you wouldn't want to use this. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have. Be sure to follow my Twitter, link in the description, and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.